Welcome back, people. That was the sound of Mick Jenkins, Scotty Pippen. Check out his new project. Incredible, incredible artist. We're back here on the other side. I've got a very, very special guest. Um, <laughs> due an intro. Um, I'm a man that came into UK hip hop officially around 2010. Um, wow. There, there's pre predecessors before me. I was listening to it in the 90s. Let's just say 96. Mm -hmm. Going into like what I would call like was a renaissance in the UK hip hop field for the kind of hip hop I liked in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I can reel off a long list of artists right now, you know, the Rick B's, the Rodney P's and all the rest. And this man sits right up on that list because wow. he's a guy that when I just come out of college, he was wow. putting, he had vinyls out, man. <laughs> he was wow. doing what we, what we were aspiring to do. You know, put, you're putting more grey yeah, hairs you know, you in know my beard. No, no, he's doing more. You're not fired than me, man. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying on, on the trajectory of how the timeline goes. Um, our very special guest this evening is the one and only Michael Parkinson. How you doing, my brother? Oh, uh, bruv, it's an honour. It's an honour, brother. Come on. Thank you. We've been Thank trying you. to get you up here for yeah, a bruv, minute well, and a half, yeah. bro. Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, bruv, we need to use an album anyway, like, um, for over years. We, you can, know we, I mean? we can get to that part, but the initial radio part, it's good yeah, to finally have yeah. you on here. I've just been hidden away in the lab all the time you know that's a reason why I'm not a lot of things why you know like I kind of got trapped in a in a well not trapped but you know like I've just been putting out so much music as well as my own that I have no time you know For like I got yeah like because basically the, the lockdown kind of helped that so just before the lockdown, I put out um, the Magnum Opus with yep. Giallo Point. Solid and album, big up Giallo. Thank you. And it's just like I just came off the cusp. I've just toured with my cousin. Big up my cousin, the Fly Hooligan. If you don't big know, up. get to big know. Up. So I've just gone to Hip Hop Kent with him and got a booking as well. Like and and then seeing Europe and how they react to me and my music, you get me. It kind of like opened my eyes because man's just always at home. Innit? I guess sometimes we don't. You know, yeah, like think you about you know how, I'm saying? Yeah, how far so. it's resonating beyond us putting it out, you know what I mean? And even before that album, I had the Mr. Thing album. And even before, I do, I wasn't even doing that many gigs. We only done like three shows and the, the record sold out. So it was like, all right, cool, let's do another one. Like, you know, like just... And then when the lockdown came, Jazz T was like, fuck it, let's just do another yeah, album. Do like, let's do a, a, yeah, an EP or whatever. There was so, no reason not to put it Yeah, like, so I was like, all right, fuck it. And I just did back in business. So there was no reasons for shows and that sold out. So I'm like, shit, okay, let's do another, like, let me just work on something else. You know what I mean? Well, obviously we've got still here now. Like, now. But going, going, coming back to vinyl, I, 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 want you to, I want you to take me back for those listeners that might be new to your name. I've um, never heard you before. Yeah, and shit. we're introducing them to yeah, you now. For today. Um, you know? A lot of my new listeners know me as a producer, which is kind of mad. But I mean, I've been rapping, doing exactly this, this since my first record came out in 2004. It was called The Shit. And the, we, we, it was the double A single, The Shit. And that was the an important year for me. Sorry, sorry to cut you. Pause. Yeah. My, my first born was born in 2004. I remember when your project came out. Yeah, with I, was buying hip -hop connection. <laughs> I was buying Hip Hop Connection. I was buying Hip Hop Connection and Parky's things coming out. Certain other guys had albums out that was pivotal that year. Yeah. And it was a, it's a strong year for Bruv, me. It was a big year for me because it was a game changer for me Like in terms of, for one, I was in a group before, like um, NWC. Tell us about that. NWC was a crew what consisted of me, Ram, Kaiser, before Terra Firma. Big up Kaiser. Um, M E Marcus explains and Amos who used to DJ for Genesis Elijah. Okay. But yeah, we were a crew and we all just like made you know music together. We even made the beats together, even though I was okay. behind the boards. Yeah, you know what I mean. But we were just trying to just put out shit. So that was the origins of you breaking but, off as a solo yeah, artist. Like, from well, that. Yeah, well, from that then we became two halves and two halves. You know, Freedom Fighters. That that was like literally Rams on that. That yeah. was meant to be a two half song. Okay, you get me, but um. Two halves, like we kind of just went our separate. We're, we're, we're cool now, like everyone's my brother. Still good, yeah, just yeah, doing yeah. what you're doing, innit? Yeah, yeah, like you know what I mean. And um, I basically gave in around that time when I left Ram, 2004. It's funny, you deep, like it's like well, 2003. I was well, two, I was like, fuck it, I'm not even. You know, I'm gonna sell my MPC. I was, like, I was on immersed the, by that time, bro. Bro, I was like literally in Uxbridge. I was living in Uxbridge. Me my wife, well, my wife, my now wife now, we just had our son, who's going to be 23 soon. <laughs> and literally, I was pushing my pram. I was talking to my wife, I'm thinking about selling my MPC. And then I heard, oi, yo, Parky, Parky. 
I look over there and there's Scribbler. Damn. So I have to big Imagine up Scribbler because if it wasn't for Scribbler... You might put it all down. Yeah, like he came that to my crib. That means wasn't supposed to, brother. Yeah, bro. That, that's, it's like God... That's some just, divine intervention, Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know to, Even yeah. onto the record because his I basically produced his first record, The Inevitable, with him and Dime Ruff. That's my shit. Yobby. You get me? Yeah, like, so when I did that, like, it was like, all right, cool. L let me bow out kind yeah. of thing. And then the label sit tight, what was headed and run by LG. He was like, nah, man, we're putting out you next. Next. You get me? So, so you so had to just like, be... Yeah, so I was like, cool. And then the rest is kind dope. of like, and then like LG got a studio with Jest and then sit tight was like, yo, we're going to do an album. You want to do an album? Put your album out. And okay. I'm like, fuck it. All right, cool. And I was working. I was still a postman at the time. Working class dad. Yeah, you get me. Hence Had why that project there on yeah, CD, man. You get me. Whoever like... I bought it to that didn't give me that back end. I know it was someone <laughs> in the ends here. Yeah? You're hearing this now. Bring back Parky's first LP. Yeah, bro. Whoever I bought it, bring it back. Yeah, like it's been a bit. It's, yeah, shit, bro. You know. So when I when I did that, I was like I had a bit of a three year hiatus. I was touring and stuff like that, and then did the first second time round, yep. which I know. You, you like that's that one album. of my favorites. The, yeah. the cover of the smoke coming out, yeah. knows all that. That was my thing, man. Yeah, I went what? HMV and I bought that with a few very solid albums, yeah. and I and I was very, very impressed, man. I was thank well you, impressed. Thank I was you, like, thank I've got sick. a big up um, appetite now known as AP M Phases LG and myself for that project. Okay, no disrespect to anyone else, it's just like I feel. If I didn't do what I did at mm -hmm. the time, it wouldn't have materialized, okay, but um. Looking at it in hindsight, it, I remember you saying it and a couple other people saying it to me like, yo, this ain't like Pharaoh Monch. No, said I really it to like me. the album, man. Yeah, Pharaoh, really even Pharaoh, like, big up Pharaoh mm. Monch. He even said to me, yo, bro, this is, you make hip hop. I don't know where this UK word comes from. Exactly. Just, you get me? Like, yeah. you know, we do it to ourselves I and we try put not ourselves. to, you know, when, when, yeah, when, nah, when nah, we bracket it. No, but bro. sometimes I feel like, man, knowing it, that's just the demographic of where this shit is. No, nah, but come on, man. You know, like, bruv, you're on you're on records with All about. international. Yeah, bruv, yeah. You're, you're worldwide as well, right? Exactly. So you ain't got a front, like, but, you know, I didn't really see it that because I'm just in my little bubble. Kids, all I know is just feed kids. And even them times there when I did that, I had a part time job. And then when it came round to Akai, I remember specifically, like, like Jess was like, you need to lot because it's long getting all of these producers and mixing it and doing this mm -hmm. and doing that and rare, rare. You should just do it yourself. Yeah, stop so. fronting. So I've got a big up Jess for that and saying, like, Yo, just, just do your own shit. Yourself. You get me? And then I did it. Sometimes it's the way, man. Yeah, like, yeah and, then, and then I did it. And, um, bruv, to be honest with you, that album still to this day is prolific. Even this year, this year is 10 years You've old. You've done the re-release. Yeah, saw that, yeah. Like People it never reach got... for that if you never got it 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah. Me, myself and that guy. There's still vinyls out there. I think there's vinyls like there. two t-shirts left. T-shirt, <laughs> K7s as well, cassettes. Yeah, 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 yeah I've got cassettes on me, man. Bits. Yeah, you get me, holla. You get me. And um, But even at the same year, I've put out still as well. But when off doing me, myself and that guy, it just kind of gave me the battery in my back. Look, I Recharge. make beats, I produce, you know, I do this, regardless of the equipment I had had through mm -hmm. the past, this is what I do. And in this, if this is what you do, you better do it. Yeah, do it. So do it to the fullest as well. When yeah. people, I remember like even Shorty Blitz, big up Shorty Blitz, she's like, yo, I'm seeing you everywhere. Da, 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 da. And it's like, I ain't even rapping, I am produced the Production. tune, so you're still seeing, mm -hmm. you get me? And, you know, it just set off a plethora of, of artists. You know, I can and go the, through all the names, on the, bro. on the production tip, being that you come in as an MC more so, but you was always producing. Like, well, which one do you prefer? Now, now, now you, you're sitting in your producer bag and you've you got projects. You can reel out the names in a sec. Yeah, no, that's which cool. Which do you prefer? Uh, because I know we're writers. We're all yeah, writers Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, bro. It's, it's, I just love them both as much, mm. but I find making beats easier more easier and more mm. like i've even i'm at the stage now where even if i hear the sample the mm. beats already made you, you in my know head. it's in your mind like i know what drums i'm using okay. i know what like what tempo oh, it might be i feel the same and yeah, then I mean, rhyming's a different thing you just need to be in that that energy yeah. that day you yeah have like, that on your mind you want to lay it out yeah like depends on how uh, and how you know i remember basically the only one i can use for an, an example is there's a song on my back back in business ep called go get it and it was like a mad George Duke loop. I looped it and cut it up and shit. Mm -hmm. And my son said to me, my second youngest, he goes, Dad, that's ill. Yo, you need to rap on that. 
and then he went to school. Mm. And you're thinking about that. Yeah, no, like it was that, bugging yeah. me. So I just had my wake and bake. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? He's right, you right, know? Certain. So I just like literally ripped the first 16, like while I was waking, baking, laid it, listened back, ridden to the thing. Cause I've got a home studio now. When you get your home set up, That's like- convenient. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Convenient. I never had that before. Mm. Like, so done that. By the time he came back from school, I was like, son, listen. Yeah, done this. Press play. You know what I mean? I know like, like, that seeds, yeah, you know, like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that, love that, that. I love that love aspect that. of it. I love that aspect. I'm more proud of this album than any other album I've done because other than the, like, you know, bringing Kaiser and Scribbler out of retirement to get yeah. on a record with me, you get me? They're I, my brothers. I bet, I bet well. Scribbler like almost 10 years ago now to, to get <laughs> on my Calculate and Dare's album and he was ifing and erring, but it's just like, because of the TD connection and certain brothers circle and circle, and I like what you do, I'll give you the verse. And he gave it to he me. Was one of the he was one of the first ones as well. I big, big him up. But he was like, yo, bruv, you know what? I don't know if anyone can dish you. It wasn't like from an egotistical phase. It was mm. just like, because this is when we were at, you know, let's say like 2008, nine round. He was like, bruv, like no one can, if man gun you, it's like they're gunning their own mum and dad, blood. Because when you came know. out, you came out like you, innit? Like a lot of people's got I'm niches. No, Bro, I'll be real. Like even with this you whole did. social media shit, like and stuff like that, I am that guy on what you might see is my opinion. I'm from that era where, and there's some other people, they like to hold personas or what have you mm. not. They're just lost in the source. The social media has just yeah, turned yeah, their yeah, man yeah, into yeah. an alter ego you, type you, you dude. Know, you know how it works. You yeah, get me? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, where with me, when I first came out, I was me, innit? Mm. So there was no... Yeah, Can't no facade, really, man. Yeah, there was, a, yeah, there was no, no smoke and mirrors, man. That's and what you, I'm saying. And you remain true. That's that's the thing. That's that's why your respect stands high, Parky. This, this is the thing. It, re reputation precedes you. That's the it's thing. It's deep so. that you say that thing about that word respect, man. Because lately I've been seeing it a lot. Like you know, no disrespect to any. Well, in my, in my in my circle, of man, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, I hear that. You, you, yeah, no, nah, bro. You hold you hold that stature. Thank you. Thank you. I don't you, know bro. about other man's in it. <laughs> I don't know about it, other circles. And yeah, no, nah, I, I hear what you're saying, bro. Like. It's, but you know what's so mad is I think I've got that respect because I never wanted it. I know it sounds a bit mad mm. me even saying that. Like, I mean, I never, like, I didn't do this for that. No, he wasn't out for that. Yeah. I that. All I wanted was to use my art as a conduit or whatever and feed my kids and, and my life. My life. That's like, real. keep the That's power real. on That's and, and stuff. Respect, like. That's all I wanted. Like, I've now been doing that for like 10 years now and... Now I'm at the stage where, yeah, I, when I'm gone, what am I leaving? Legacy. Yes. Mm. So legacy is a, means a lot to yeah, me. Man, that's important. Yeah, man. right. So when I see, like, when it comes to the respect, I've seen a lot of things now. I see a lot of people doing a lot of things just to get respect. Mm -hmm. And it's just, even heroes, certain people, like, I'm like, raw. I didn't even know it was like that. Do you get me? Because I'm, surprised. but it's not their fault. It's the, the it's, it's the clout error, It's just, it's just the, yeah, it's, it's just, bro, the clout it's, bro, like, it's not, it could be a clout it error is. or what, but I mean, like, in terms of certain minds' mindset, what a next man wants and how they see this mm -hmm. art or what they see is different. It's different, yeah. For me, like I, I said on, I think, the Blade review, look, if I fucks with you, I fucks with you. Properly, yeah. If I don't, then I can't fucks with you. Same. I can't Same. listen to Same. your Same. shit. And like, everyone I can't ain't supposed to get along bro, in yeah, 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 like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, that's just how it is for me. Like, so... But so to cut you speaking of the works, man, reel out who you've worked with, man. Oh, Let the people shit. know who you've worked with. I know you got shit. a little list. Yeah, you shit. Gonna say right. a few minutes ago. Um, go and check out. Um, while I'm talking, go and check out Oliver Rothstein's The Philadelphian out now That's everywhere. Out now. Um, on Old Soul Music, I've produced for the Fly Hooligan. I've produced. Well, yeah, we've done an album with my cousin. Big him up. Dirty like Goods, Verb T, Joker Star, Lunacy, Juggernaut. Anyway. The God, Sunny Jim, Big Cakes, Kaiser, Scribbler, Dime Rough, DRS, the drum and bass MC, Motman, Daz, Unique Hastings, Ray Vendetta, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Axel Holy, Wishmaster, Shady, K Zorro, Kinetic, The Planet, Sir Smurf Little, Converse, Cosim, Mick Swagger, Theme, Rap Exchange. Big up theme. Yes, big up theme. My brother. Apex Zero, Amy True, One Oz, Leaf Dog. Ian Daniels, Ram, NWC, fucking hell. There's it a couple goes, it goes more I've on. left that's, out. That's, it's it's um, like... It's too many. I've still got more. Well, like, tell the listeners, listeners aren't familiar with certain names that may have came up there. That's that's just like quite quite a list of, you know, guys and girls 
we're within this yeah thing, shady like, as we, well shady you know what i mean guys <laughs> and the girls the guys and yeah, the girls so yeah. that that's that's quite a long list my brother so go go in ahead i know that list is going to extend yeah, can you give us any clues on, real, on, that, on who, who's next that, who's... That, that, that well i need you on it next soon nah, like on. yeah um, come on don't hop me up like that man we, um, we put out the work can we put the work out yeah I've, I've, all organic shit i forgot yeah there was even like odyssey as well like big up odyssey but that was via kinetic um oh, i'm just trying to think man because I've been working on a couple of things. I'm working on some new project where I'm rapping again as okay. well. Like, but it's just like me, fully me solo. and my brother Joker Star have been working on some shit. All right, big up I've, Joker Star. I'm sitting on an album. Me and Giallo were kind of sitting on. We're trying to finish it off, but like I'm sitting on the the, the sequel to the Magnum Opus. You're on That's it, dope. obviously. That's dope. You know what I mean? Um, and then literally, I want to start work on my production album. Like, I want to do a Soul Survivor. Okay, and you just yeah. draw, you just draw for the the creme de la creme. Yeah, brothers, yeah, and you, you just get me? Yeah, and yeah. it ain't no just UK thing. It's a well, yeah, you, like, you reach out all about. I'd like to have you know, Quelle Chris, big up Quelle Chris mm -hmm. as well, um, and just a certain other artists like from the states and what have you not yeah, messing with the dons here. Yeah, man, just, you feel me like yeah, on my shit, just and crossing yeah, paths like, on some tracks, man. Yeah, like, I hear that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's kind of brother. I've been doing this for so long. I haven't stopped, so I haven't. Even had time to like have retrospect. I'm still yeah, to really all, look, look yeah. back on what's been done. Yeah, like it's yeah. like man has done a lot, you know. And it's just like, do you, do 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 you feel do you feel you're at a point now where you're gonna do a lot more? If you got a certain amount of projects you want to do before you just like, this is me. You know uh, what it is for me, man. Like I just, I hate the whole sense when it comes to rap. Like there's a whole sense of, because as I said, back to the whole respect thing, like I don't do this to say I'm the best or mm. I don't do this to, um, what's the word? I remember that, yeah, big up Farmer for this. He said, yo, I'm a good guy. And he's right. I don't, there's no ulterior rope motives with me. Mm. I've always just done what I what I do. Yeah, what you feel. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and sometimes some people, because the way our people are now, it's a bit overwhelming for mm. man. They think, oh, nah, he's got to have some ulterior motive. Mm. There's got to be some nah, catch man. or there's got to be, or he's got to be doing it. Like I've had people cuss me out and say, no, man, bruv, don't lie. You're just trying to be, you're trying to be better than me. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not I trying to that. be better than anyone. I'm trying to be better than myself. Trust, we're in a race of our own self. Right, I've always been that way. Like, like for instance, I man say, well, you put out so much. Yeah. I was like, bro, from like 15, 16, we've been all over recording stuff. I can't not do this. I've That's been doing I'm, it for longer than I'm not been doing it now. This is what you I'm saying. Me? This is what I'm saying. So just, Same yeah. with being parents. Like exactly. I've been a parent. Longer than you haven't your, been. Yeah, more, longer than I haven't been. Yes. So you it's go, real, you know, real. like it's built in, it's in my DNA to do exactly, this. I feel that. I feel exactly what you're saying. Is it's hard to really break down in a way that. Yeah, yeah like you can't really put it. Yeah, like it's. It, I can only use analogies in my mm. situations in my life, innit? Like I can't really. Oh man, like, you know, like even over these past couple of weeks, I've seen quite a lot of things and it's opened my eyes to a lot of, raw. is this how the game is? Like, is this how you lot scene, are? Like, or, the scene in general, the players. Yeah, like, yeah. And, I'm, I'm, and, and, and this is the thing, but it's not the scene's fault. It's mm. not, I've just changed. I've just matured. Everyone changes or everyone yeah. grows. Your perspective on it has evolved. Yeah, that's, like, that's what it is. Yeah, like so before, before my circle used to be massive, obviously I'm safe and I looked at, the scene or the you know in rose tinted glasses blood like everyone was cool mm. everyone didn't have mm. you know and then no word of a lie and i have to big him up and he's my blood my cousin took these glasses off yeah it happens man it happens and i saw shit and i was like what the fuck nah i'm going home bro you know you know how it works. <laughs> I, I, was, I was in triple darkness with your cousin at one st at one stage and you know, he used to drop a lot of gems and jewels mm. on myself and tesla more yeah, so yeah yeah because we're, we're more tight knit us three like that yeah. so he dropped the jewels on me and I was already starting to have like an awakening to certain things in it. Being that at that point, man was putting out a shitload. Every time he spun around something, yeah. was like, I was feeling slighted. I'll be around a man and saying, I feel slighted, man. I'm, I'm outworking everybody and, and the quality is flipping better it's too. It's not about us. Yeah, not, but you know what I mean? Yeah. But then I stopped feeling like that, Parky. Like you just said, when you do what you feel and you, I just do what I want now. When I feel, throw it out. You know, make, make sure the man them are being productive around me. And, and all you got to do is win once. That's it. And That's then once that once, everyone checks exactly. everything. You That's know it. what I'm saying? Like, I, I learned to be like that, Parky. You know, know, I've got my times, man. I'm animated on social media and shit, but you know what? You know me like that. Yeah, bro. brother. It's, and, and the confidence as well. Mm. Like us, and I'll say it, and I'll say it with whole chest. Us as black people, 
Our confidence scares people sometimes. Fair enough. It's even scares it even scares other black people. Yeah, true yeah? too. True and too. Our own family members sometimes. Yeah, like, real talk, deep. Like, yeah, because we believe something or because we're so passionate about something. Even the vocation I have. It's like I have to big up my wife because there's been times I'm be like, you know what, fuck this, man. Let me go get a job. She's like, no. Nah, do you do what you we do? We did this. We were, we're ten years in, blood. What you do? What, what? you do? I've got the account. Well, but, you know, you need to fucking do this. Yeah, this is your decision. I feel that. Sometimes it's a case of where you just have to look outside outside of the whole thing, and then really, because I've just I analyze sometimes. I've always tried to go in, even in the people who fuck you over. I try and go in their shoes and try and think, wow, mm. you why mean? so? Yeah, you get me, like, and and then at the end of the day, we're all human. Yeah, That's it. all prone to error. Right, right. So what I did, I just obviously made my circle smaller. The pandemic made it easier to make Even it smaller. smaller. Yeah, yeah right. Everyone was just... Right. You get me? In their own corner. You know, like, this is another thing. Even when that happened, you could really tell, like, whoever you were in you contact with. your people's with. were, man. You knew your yeah, people's Yeah, you knew were, who yeah, your man. people's yeah, were. Because so I'm still checking up on my people's. You good? You Things good? good. You right. Man, That's you, what I'm you saying. You and the missus ain't ten each other's hair out. Kids yeah, cool. Bruv, what them things? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, that's, you know, that's the realm of my... And now I'm just in that whole um, pocket of... Yo, the only thing what matters to me is my loved ones. No, I like, feel that, I mean, man. like, I feel that. they're the reason, they're the, they're the new battery in my yeah, back. Man. They were my battery, they were my purpose before, but now they're and the now battery. A motivation and a yeah, battery like, in my soul. you know what I'm saying? So when that, people man. see, like, what I'm doing and I feel that. who I'm producing for or, you know, because even with this, like, it's quite mad, like, even with this new Oliver Rothstein record, yeah. what's got 38 Special and, and Eto and... Ochino Vasquez from State Property. These are yeah, people yeah, like I, I was, you know yeah, what I mean. Man, I was know, listening to, on, listen to man. Yeah, yeah, like when I was, you got know, their albums. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, bro, yeah. what the fuck, like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. And then now they're rapping yeah, on your man, beats. Like it kind of shows nice. you the progress. And and as I it's yeah, big big up Shorty Blitz like um, as well for not only rinsing it, but mm -hmm. when when I did, you know, when it came out or uh, certain man just hit me up. Yo, congratulations. This is what you need to be doing. Mm, more so. Yeah. Other people, is crickets, in it? Because mm. they wanted to be doing what I'm no, doing. But I don't come really give a fuck about it. Come on now. <laughs> well, you see, see, see what you can do with that to the best effect to just keep doing what you do, Parky. Yeah, I have you to. Know? I no, have man, to. man, them that appreciate you and got that, that love and respect for you, man, they will they, they will drive you to keep doing that. Go Wifey you... will drive you. The kids yeah, will keep driving you. That's what I'm saying. Like, so so I've, been, I've been going where I've been wanted and it's and it's been good. All right. I mean, so bigger, to, I thought, did I mention what man shit? But yeah, yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> you did to so run it up. Yeah. Tell us what's the immediate next bits and, and where people can find, oh, right now, find you. Yeah, right where now, right now. Oh, you know what? I sell a lot of beats. So any up and coming artists, please come see me. Get those beats. I am not. Yeah. I don't go on like a, my shit. Don't get those stink. Beats. I don't go on like you always. Know, Is that it? He'll tell you. You get me. High and quality. yeah, and it's proven. If you need stems, whatever, we can talk, bro. We could talk exactly. So like, it's not a thing. Please buy my album. Still, Still, it's on vinyl now. It's on cassette. Go and get the reissue of me, myself, and Nako for the first time on vinyl as well. T-shirts. And if you need to check me out on Instagram, it's Parky Picks, not Michael Parkinson. So it'll be P-A-R-K-Y-P-I-X. And as they say on the show, that's my Twitter handle and all of them type of things. All well, that's left to say is big respects, brother Parky. Blessings, like. As always, grilling me about the project, people, is going to yeah. get done. It's been in the making for a minute. Yeah, man. But we, we, we know, innit? We did, we're slow cooking it, innit? We, yeah, we just bruv, bringing you know ingredients what? together. I should might as well let it out of the bag. It's not even though it's not coming out. Yeah, he's on me and Giallo's new project. We've got a song with him and Harry Shotter, and we're all talking about Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, yeah. the gun is trapped. It's, it's called, well, track. It's called 89. I'm calling it 89 still. Come on, you now. get me. So I know why you're calling yeah, that yeah. Anfield and all that. You're yeah, gonna make bro, the Liverpool nah, nah. fans salty. You're gonna make them Liverpool fans salty. Start <laughs> hiding nah, 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 man. Man was young, hiding. bro. I was nine when that happened. That was the <laughs> nah, first he time. Remembers bro. in living memory. Yeah. <laughs> I was nine, bro. Oh, like, he had that as his ringtone, yeah, bro. The, the Michael Thomas scoring. Bro, like, oh, Thomas. Oh, <laughs> them man loved it so much they bought him next season, bro. You get me? We're like fucking that wall having that. You get me? Yeah, bro. It's been a pleasure, brother. It's been a pleasure. Love. Yes, big up Thank you for having me, man. Thank you. Bless up.